Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 11th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Daily Events Worldwide. Look in here, our sun. We still have that one active sunspot region, southern hemisphere of the sun, but there is also a sunspot that formed in the north, almost towards the north pole of the sun. We'll get a closer look at that soon. Just looking here, 304 angstroms, a lot of plasma jumping away from our sun. Some you saw crawl right across the sun. Looking here, 511, or no, 211. You can see that sunspot is active. Nothing too crazy though, but check this out in the Northern Hemisphere. Watch this small sunspot form and then just poof, disappear. I've never seen one form here before, not that far north and right in the middle of a coronal hole. Very interesting indeed. Staying aware and prepared, my friends? I hope so. There are a lot of crazy events happening around the world today, and I want to take a moment here to say thank you and God bless everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Please just stay safe, clean, aware, and prepared. Our planet is a very busy place. Looking here, earthquakes last 24 hours. Most recent here in Hawaii, Pahala, Hawaii, 35 kilometer depth. So maybe some volcano, volcanic movement in Hawaii, but as well, looking at all these earthquakes up the west coast, San Andreas, 3.3 as well, Oregon, Oregon. So a lot of earthquakes today along the west and as well, check this out, 3.1 New York. Sorry, just after I show you these Mexico earthquakes. But yeah, strange earthquake reported today in New York. 3.1 Glens Falls, South Glens Falls. And just yesterday there was another earthquake. I'll show you that in just a moment. So there is a large fault line that lies underneath Lake Erie and through the St. Laurentian. Looking here, South America, 4.3, 4.3. Chile, 4.6. Looking across Eurasia, 4.4 here. Romania, 4.2. Iran, as well, 4.3. Tajikistan, 4.1. China. Yesterday, a 5.0 here in Indonesia, right by the Kerinci volcano. 4.6, a 5.3 here, Papua New Guinea. Another 5.3, a Tonga region. Another 5.3, L'Esperance, New Zealand. So it's been fairly quiet the last seven days, but look at the last two days, and it looks like things are starting to pick up again. So stay aware, prepared. It seems to be somewhat evenly distributed everywhere. And here's that other yesterday that was reported 2.7 in Maine. So yes, yeah, stay aware, prepared, have a plan and be ready for anything. It's all I could say humans. Looking here the last seven days, it's been a quiet week. And as I said earlier, it seems to be evenly distributed. Deep earthquakes, shallow quakes, Nothing serious to talk about. No large earthquakes for the last seven days except for the 5.8. California. So that's the largest earthquake the last seven days. California. Stay aware and prepared. Atlantic Plate is staying pretty active as well. Let's go to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Looking at the most recent updates to volcanoes. Dakono. as well Reventador. We also have Tropical Cyclone 21, who was alive northwest of Australia. 
It had a lot of moisture as it was coming in, but it pretty much lost it. And uh, we'll see what happens here the next 24 hours along the coastlines of Northwest Australia. But very interesting jet streams and low pressure systems across the world. Our atmosphere is acting very funny and it's sometimes not normal. Across Colombia, reporting landslides, a lot of landslides being reported in South America and avalanches in North America. Mostly flood alerts and four volcanoes, Sabancaya, Decono, Reventador, and Fuego. Looking at the huge low pressure system that seems to be just spinning around Iceland. And that's deep lower level uh, center. It just gets trapped there. So it's been spinning and throwing off these multiple uh, vortices heading across the United Kingdom and into Eastern Europe. Russia just got dumped with a, I believe it was 10 feet of snow reported in some regions. United Kingdom still just experiencing all this rain day after day, and it doesn't seem to be letting up. You might have some thunderstorms here tomorrow though. across Western Canada and the United States, low pressure system came across the Rockies and flew south and is now heading south, uh, south, southeast towards the Great Lakes. We've got a huge high pressure and low pressure ridge converging right over Alberta. So cold air north of us in the high pressure ridge coming in the winds will be coming out of the northeast and then the low pressure system south of us the winds will be coming out of the southwest so it's going to be very interesting as these two systems collide as well looking at another low pressure system deep lower level trough here california coastline set to whip right up california five-day forecast brought to you by meteor earth Media mike overlooking home base Canada, Calgary, Canada, and it's going to get cold. You see those temperatures? Minus 23. That's right. So towards the end of the week, minus 28. My friends and family, stay aware. Winter is not over. That's for sure. Get out your shovels, get the toques, get the scarves, get the boots, get everything back because it's not over. It's going to be really cold after we get about 10 to 20 centimeters here in southern Alberta and BC region, coastal region, as well as I, as I was talking about. Here's the high pressure ridge. Winds will be coming out of the northeast, heading west. So they're going to clash. Lots of moisture coming in from the Pacific. Warm moisture at that. You can see it's a deep lower level trough. It's taking its time to get over the topography of the Rocky Mountains. But later, at the end of the forecast, that's when it'll come over. Watch for extreme weather across southern states as high pressure ridge moves in and lots of rain moves in from the Gulf. Watch for possible flooding conditions, South Carolina, North Carolina. Overlooking Europe, still, as I was talking about from the other app, low pressure system after low pressure system, just spinning around, but it's starting to bring a lot of snow to parts of uh, Eastern Europe, and as well, Russia, Pacific Ocean, same kind of anomalies that are that are growing, just intense, deep lower level trough, low pressure systems developing, 
You can see this one later in the week here affecting Kamchatka, eastern Russia, and into Alaska. As that system's going to head straight across Alaska and into the Hudson Bay. The polar vortex is still dominant in the northern hemisphere right now. We're going to be getting into that at the end of the video. But it's just very interesting how these systems are moving now. Are they following new ley lines, possibly, of our magnetic field? Have our fields changed dramatically now? Yeah, I believe they have. Why? Well, there are many theories. Stay tuned to Morning Dew. Overlooking here, tropical cyclone just missing Australia, but will bring some coastal rains to Queensland, South America. Not much to talk about daily, except daily evaporation rains. Heavier amounts throughout Chile here, eastern Chile, and as well, North Brazil, and then to Colombia, as they, yeah, they've, they're already dealing with a lot of landslides and flash floods. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about, except for daily evaporation rain. The cyclone that's forming east of Madagascar is not going to affect the island. But South Africa probably will receive some intense winds and heavy rains. Southeast Africa later in the week. I believe you're here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. And then watch for our polar vortex, which is still dominant and on its way to Canada. Minus 28 temperatures coming up. So stay aware and prepared. Stay clean and warm. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching today. Stay young and have fun. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.